Okay, this is 6.6 .6, part 2. We're solving exponential equations using logarithms. Um, so we had just talked about doing this by taking the natural log of each side. So now if we're given an equation of the form y equals a times e to the kt. Okay, so notice there's an e in this kind of equation. You're going to solve for t by dividing both sides of the equation by a. So basically you're going to get the e by itself. Okay, the e, e part of the term by itself. And you're going to divide both sides by a to do that. Then apply the natural logarithm of both sides of the equation and then divide both sides of the equation by k. And, and you'll see why. It kind of, it kind of uh, flows um, it'll make sense as we go along. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get this e term here, this by itself. So I'm going to do that by getting rid of the number in front of it, the coefficient, by dividing both sides by 2. Now I hold off and I don't divide this 13 by 2 yet, although you you can if you want to because it, it, it comes out to be what um, 6.5 I believe. So, so because you don't have to round 6.5 you could you could definitely divide that but um, I try not to um, simplify the fractions like this yet um, in case I would have to round I don't want to have to round in the middle of the problem and throw my final answer off so I'm gonna leave it 13 halves so then we are now at step 2 where we want to uh, apply the natural log to both sides so we're gonna do the natural log of e to the 6x is equal to the natural log of 13 halves. Okay, so what happens is remember when you do a log, we're asking um, what is the exponent? And when we're doing natural log, this is log base e. So what is the the exponent? So e to what power? So when I look at this problem on the left, the natural log of e to the 6x, e to what power is e to the 6x? Well, the answer is the exponent. So this kind of simplifies out and just leaves the exponent, which is nice. So I get 6x equals the natural log of 13 halves. So the next part is you want to get the x by itself. So what do you do? You're going to divide both sides by 6. If you look right up here, that's exactly what it says do. It says divide both sides of the equation by k. So, um, but it just kind of follows that you're supposed to do that anyway because your goal is to get x by itself and you're multiplying it times 6. To undo the, the times 6, we divide. So um, that uh, step 3, uh, it just makes sense, or hopefully it makes sense. So um, I have x equals, oops, x equals the natural log of 13 halves all over 6. Now, again, um, for our homework, Newton has us uh, taking this out to like the fourth decimal place so I would go to my calculator and do ln 13 halves divided by 6 and we get 0.31196 if I round that to 4 that's 0 0.3120 Okay, so um, let's look at uh, this triad. Solve 3e to the 0.5t equals 11. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of that 3. Uh, so I end up with e to the 0.5t equals, and I'm just going to leave this 11 thirds. I'm not going to try to divide that out because I'll get a, um, uh, an answer I have to round. So the next step is to take the natural log of each side so take the natural log of uh, e to the 0 0.5t and then take the natural log of 11 thirds. Now on the left hand side, if you will recall from the last problem, the natural log and the e kind of cancel each other out and leaves 
um, 0.5t. And again, the reason is when I look at this problem here, I'm asking myself, what is the exponent? e to what power is e to the 0.5t? So it's e to the 0.5t. So 0.5t would be the answer there. On the right-hand side, we're left with ln of 11 thirds. And then I want t by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.5. So I'm going to do ln of 11 thirds, close my parentheses, divided by 0 0.5. And I get 2.5986. Let me just double check that. 2.59. All right. So now um, solve an equation that can be simplified to this form. So notice this is not in that form yet. This equation is not in this form yet because I've got this minus t. So what you want to do is you want to get the e term by itself. So I'm going to um, add 10 to both sides and I get e to the x plus 10 is equal to 52 because the tens cancel. Once you get it to this form then we take the ln, the natural log of both sides. So on the left I end up with x plus 10 equals the natural log of 52 and then I want to get rid of the 10. So get rid of the 10 by subtracting 10 on both sides and I get x equals ln of 52 minus 10. So in the calculator we'll do ln of 52 close parentheses minus 10 and we get negative 6.0488 negative 6.0488 That's it. All right, so let's look at this one. Let's put it in um, uh, the y equals the y equals a times e to the kt form. So you notice you have an e to the 2t on both sides. So what you can do is you can treat that like like terms, and you can subtract that on both sides. And we end up with 3. Uh, the e e to the uh, two t's on the left cancel equals seven e to the two t minus minus e to the two t that's like subtracting one to the two t would be six e to the two t I'm sorry like subtracting e to the two t so subtracting one e to the two t I think I, I forgot to say the e there Okay, so I subtracted 1e e to the 2t on both sides, and I got 3 equals 6e e to the 2t. So now we have it in the correct form, so we're going to divide both sides by 6. And we get 1 half, or 0.5, equals e to the 2t. And now we can take the uh, natural log of both sides. So the natural log of 1 half, and then the natural log of e to the 2t. So on the right hand side, the natural log of e to the 2t is just the exponent 2t equals ln of 1 half. And then divide both sides by 2. So I'm going to do ln of 1 half divided by 2. So ln of 1 half close parentheses divided by 2 negative 0.3466 okay so let's look at um, these that are in quadratic form e to the 2x minus e to the x minus 6 so you're going to treat these this e to the 2x kind of like it's an x squared um, and e to the x would be like an x. Okay, so thinking of it that way, if you had x squared minus x minus 6 and you had to factor it to solve it, you would say, what would I multiply together to get negative 6 but add to get negative 1? So what would I multiply to get negative 6 but add to get negative 1? And 
I uh, believe it would be negative 3 and positive 2. And then you would solve. So you're going to do the same kind of thing over here. Uh, instead of uh, factoring x squared into x times x, we'll, fact we'll factor e to the 2x into e to the x times e to the x. So if you think about this, e to the x times e to the x is equal to e to the 2x. All right, so that's where that came from. All right, so now same thing. What do you multiply to get negative 6, but add to get this middle coefficient, which is negative 1, and that would be negative 3 and positive 2. So now when we get to that point over here, we set each factor equal to 0, and the same thing is the case here. So we're going to set e to the x minus 3 equals 0, and e to the x plus 2 equals 0. Um, on the left, I have e to the x is equal to 3, um, because I'm going to add 3 to both sides. And then, um, then you can take the natural log. So I'll take the natural log of e to the x and the natural log of 3. And uh, natural log of e to the x is just the exponent of x. So whatever the natural log of 3 is. So the natural log of 3 is... 1.0986. But now I have another uh, equation over here. I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. And I could rewrite this uh, by taking the natural log of both sides, but uh, I have a negative. Um, so when I carry an e to any power, there's no way for me to get um, a negative answer. So this would not be a solution to the equation. So make sure you, so just note sometimes that could happen. If I were to go ahead and um, finish this out, let's say you didn't recognize this, you do ln of e to the x equals ln of negative two, you get x equals ln of negative two. When you come to your calculator and do ln of negative two, it'll say calculator not non-real answer. Okay, so good there. All right, so you guys try this one. Um, let me just let me just help you with this first part. You want to um, you can see here it's a quadratic, right? So I would move everything to the uh, left hand side. So subtract e to the x, subtract two, you get zero. Okay, now pause it, solve it, come back um, when you're ready to go over it. Okay, so uh, we would say e to the x and e to the x, and the factors of negative 2 that add up to be the middle term, which is negative 1, would be negative 2 and positive 1. So we'll say e to the x equals, um, I'm sorry, e to the x minus 2 equals 0, e to the x plus 1 equals 0. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides on the first equation to get e to the x equals 2. I'm going to take the natural log of both sides to solve it. And I'll get x equals whatever the natural log of 2 is. And the natural log of 2 is 0 0.6931. The right expression, I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides. And I get e to the x equals negative 1, which can't be a solution. Okay, so we're going to stop here, and we're going to pick up with part 3 of 6.6 uh, .6 in the next video.